which is an entirely 2D game. Pac-Man Championship Edition. It's coming up. Um, I think that's about 1080p, judging by the size of the, um, the thing there. Although, somehow it's not... I don't know if it's a stupid raptor thing. Oh, no. You know what that is? That's because you've scaled up the UI on, on with Windows, and it doesn't always get rid of that. Um, I found that on my media PC when I scaled it up so I could see the desktop when I'm sitting on the couch. Mm -hmm. And then certain certain programs, certain full screen programs, would not hide like the Windows bar. And the way you can get around it is to make it automatically lower oh. until you move the mouse down. So the auto hide. Auto -hide. Well, in this right here, so I mean, we look at this. This game, there's no res selection. So uh, I'm assuming it's 1080p just based on the fraps number. Yeah. But the, the item is full screen or not. Um, I would agree that it looks to be 1080p. Which still looks good, but it's not as sharp. Like it's, right. it's not as super, super crisp, like almost hyper-realistic crisp, like what you were saying. And this would be a great game to have that because of the ghosts and the neon and everything. This is going to be horrible on a keyboard. But this would be a great game to have that hype. So, that's, that's one limitation you'll run into here that wasn't necessarily such a big deal, I would say, in multi-monitor. Um, is that if your game lacks video controls, you're kind of stuck. Because with multi-monitor, the very least you could do was... I'm bad. The very least you could do is just set your desktop resolution to, say, 1080p, or um, you could uh, unplug the other monitors. But here, you've only got the one monitor, and even if you set your desktop resolution to 1080p, I'm not so certain it would solve the problem. It's interesting that it's running at a constant 60 frames a second. And there are some games, some of the console games we've seen, like, um, uh, uh, because this came from Xbox Live originally. Um, some of these console ports have an internal frame limiter of 60 frames a second. And as much as I decried that earlier on in some other games, like um, Rayman Origins. That would be another one to look at here, because that's really pretty. Um, that internal limiter is much more appealing and useful than um, the... Uh, it's much more appealing than V-Sync to get to 60 hertz. Let the game do it rather than the um, yeah the graphics card. 